In this video, I will be showing you how to paint and base this Warhammer 40k communication tower terrain that I built previously. As you can see, I've already started painting with silver, but right now I'll be focusing on the base. I'll be gluing down a rock in the center, putting these plants on, and coating the rest of the base with sand. At the same time, I'll also be painting these extra foam bits that were added for stability and finishing up the partial paint job. Some hot glue was placed on the plant, then I put it into position near the center of the CD. I did the same thing with the rock and put some extra glue around the plant. Adding these two decorations gives the piece some character and variation, otherwise this would look plain and boring. After cleaning up the hot glue strings, the whole base was coated with PVA glue. I wrote boy because I'm immature. Along with that, I hot glued a random screw down. Screws like these are perfect for terrain. Then I took a brush and spread the glue until I got full coverage. Now just sprinkle on the basic material of your choice. I chose a combination of sawdust and fine sand. Now it's time to start painting the base. I went with a light brown that started out as an espresso brown that I added white to. Some of the sawdust might fall off because it's not sealed particularly well, but the paint partially aids in that. If you do use something like sawdust, it could absorb a lot of paint. After it dried, I painted the screw with lead belcher and did some dry brushing with a cream or peach color. The rock also got a dry brush of white paint to make it stand out more. I did this stuff off camera. I used watered down black paint as a wash for the base and glued on a combination of green static grass and pale or dead static grass. Oh, and this cement chunk made of some fiberboard was put on too. Now we can finally begin to finish painting the tower. I used the same cheap silver paint as before and painted up the extra foam supports that I added, along with other spots on the build where too much black paint was exposed. Then I wanted this tower to look rusty, so I mixed together some orange and brown paint and applied that with an old brush to various places on the terrain piece. Once all the rust effects dried, I mixed up watered down black paint to act as more weathering effects and to give the piece more character than being bright silver. I slathered this over the entire tower. The screw sticking out from the satellite dish was then painted with a gold metallic color to stand out more from the dish. And finally, more silver was dry brushed over random spots on the now darkened tower to add even more variation and to make it look shinier in some areas. I hope you got some value out of this communication tower slash array terrain tutorial. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub because that really helps me out. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!